So hello everyone, my name is Ravindra and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. Okay. In this video, we are see how to patch a SharePoint person column in Power. In SharePoint, I simply created a list. Okay, given title and person is one column. From add column, you can simply add a person column here. And just simply click on the next, give the name, and you can add. After adding the person column, I just go to the Power Apps and showcase you the different ways to the submit. First, we are seeing by using Combo Box. So, I will first add the form here. Form. Clicking on the Edit Form. So form is added, selecting the data source, person column. So our drop combo box is added here. So simply I just use control X. Okay. Copy the combo box from here. Okay. Person type and just Going to our screen 4, where we have to use, simply use control V. Okay. So our combo box is added. I rearrange this according to my preference. Okay. And simply just going on this error and commenting all the errors. So border color, I comment default selected items are coming parent display name commented parent display mode comment and all errors are solved okay let's add here one submit button changing the button to the save And on select of the formula, so we are using the patch function. I just showcasing you this version patch. Okay, to patch. After that, SharePoint list name defaults. After that, return SharePoint list name. Then comma creating the record and closing the record a little bit zoom it out formula bar so you can you see here okay so it is not zooming no problem here let's say we add the title here title is required column so that's why i add it and putting one after that giving comma then we have to submit the patch okay person type so i just type the person this is the column name in our sharepoint okay you can be see person then you give in the combo box name data card value three value two okay so this is highlighting you can see in the green color this combo box we are selected dot selected you can be view the items or the selected items. in this case i just simply use selected and then just go in the play mode here in the combo box let's i type Ravindra, okay. So I type the R. So here you can be see my name and email ID is coming. But okay, I want my display name should be visible here, okay. So I just go to the select the first combo box, okay. I little bit zoom it out. Select I selected combo box, then I just go to the fields. The fields here, let's you can be go 
and make here display name here we can change it to the double okay. secondary text we can be add email search field we can be do the display name okay so now i just go to the play mode and you can be see my name ravindra gato we showcase i simply select this and just click on the save so our record is created our gallery refresh you can be see one my email id and my name that were added here so i just rearrange these things in the proper format is record number 1 slide fine one way okay and another way is by using static values okay so i just showcase you on the same page okay let's try copy this paste it scenario let's remove this save button to the top here to here and here we make scenario 2 static value so in this case let's have we add one more button here so we are passing the static values okay so i just simply go copying this formula using on this button okay same formula just uh, changing some of the values like here okay title i make to the two and this value we have to change so i just uh, remove the okay, and just give some space enter okay so person is a choice column so choice is a record okay so we are created record here okay in the record okay so simply i will suggest you to follow the matthew devini block here okay in this uh, this code you can be simply copy okay i will just give this in the comment box as well from here also you can be do okay so simply let's see paste it here okay so in this case okay microsoft dot azure connectors dot sharepoint sp list expand user is the same we not have to change this okay after that we have to change the claim department so how to take this all the values like we are not known the o data type claims display name we can this like simply give let's i change in this case we have to make this choice column uh, to the submitted by the user name okay who whose user is logged so user Let's give the brackets dot full name. Email ID as well. We will do the same. Okay. User dot user brackets then dot email. Okay. and now we have to give this claim and the o data type for this purpose we are added one combo box here so let's simply add two text here okay text 
it's little bit bigger first you control v we now have the two let's copy the name of this data card then we will use this text okay here combo box dot selected dot we want claims okay so just type the claims here okay let's go in the play mode copy this okay simply then select the button just change this okay now also we have all data type okay so let's we select all data type for combo box So our data type is uh, same for all. Okay, we not need to change it. It will work fine. Okay, so let's uh, we try and check it's working or not. Okay, let's I submitted the record here, and our record is added. Okay, you can be see to Ravindra Zado. Okay, this record is added. You can be see. Also, you can want some more proper and dynamic. Okay. So here, this is the code. Okay, I will provide you in the comment box. You can use this and patch the person type column. Okay, these are the two ways. If you have any question or any doubt, you can ask into in the comment box. That's all, friends. Have a nice day. Keep learning. Keep growing. Thank you.